Never Stop Learning Week 143. We're going to take a look at how to use the Save Selection feature available in Adobe Illustrator. So here I've got some artwork on my artboard and what I want to do is make a little tricky selection of the, the outer section of this gear. So I'm going to grab my lasso tool and just click and drag and start going all along my artboard here. Alright, so what I'm doing is maneuvering in between these anchor points, trying to select these outer segments, but I also want to make sure that I don't select some unwanted anchor points. So it takes me a little bit of time to go all around. Now that I'm on the outside, I can move a little bit faster. And then I'll reach the end here, and I'm set. So it did take me a little bit to make that selection, so I want to save this guy off. Let's come over here to the Select menu, scroll down till you find Save Selection. When you click on it, it gives you the option of saving off your selection. So I'm going to name this Outer Section. All right, I'll click OK. Now I have that selection saved off. Next, I want to come over here to the Tools panel, and I'm going to make some edits to my artwork. So I'm going to use this Passcribe plugin by Astute Graphics, and just click and drag, and you see I get this really cool effect here. All right, when I release, you see my artwork's been updated here. Next, what I want to do is reselect those anchor points and segments to make some more edits to my artwork. So I'll come back over here to the Select menu, scroll down till I find this outer section, and now all those anchor points and segments are reselected. I'll come back to the Tools panel and activate my plugin. Shift Option click. Now I get access to these handles again, and I'll click and drag. When I release, I'll deselect, and you see my updated artwork here. All right, let me get rid of this guy, and I'm going to do a little bit more basic maneuvering here. All right, I'll grab my Dynamic Shapes tool, and I just want to draw out like four basic circles. All right, so I got them all here. Great. I'll grab my Selection tool, and now I'm going to select two shapes. All right, we'll come back over here to Select. Scroll down to find Save Selection, and we'll call this Two Circles. Great. Now, I'll come back to the Select menu, and we find two circles. Click on it, and it selects those two circles for you again. All right, so this doesn't just work for whole shapes. It'll actually work for anchor points and segments. So here I'm shift-clicking on these two anchor points. I'll come up to the Select menu, Save Selection, and this one's going to be called Two Points. I'll deselect that, Select, Find Two Points, and now those two anchor points have been targeted and I can make edits to them. All right, now when we've been going over here to the select menu, you might have seen this option here, edit selection. When you click on that, you see all these different selections that we've saved off. So I have this outer section targeted and I could change the name to it. So I actually want to change the name of this one here. Call this guy anchor points. Click OK. And now when I come back over here to the select menu, you see it's been updated here. All right, let's go back into this edit selection. And if I target one of these guys, I could actually delete them. So here I'm just targeting the different selections, clicking delete, click OK. And now you see I only have this last one here that I saved off called two circles. All right, now if I were to save off my document, close it, and then reopen it, I could actually use this selection in future sessions. And that's how you use the Save Selection feature available in Adobe Illustrator.